The Bible tells us that silence is gold. But my ears can still hear and my eyes can still see. The Bible also tells us to be swift to hear and slow to speak. You see, what you don't understand, thief, what you did is what my people deal with all the time. Someone cheating them from providing their greatness into the world. But it's a burden that we cut off only to make us stronger. I saw in the first fight where Ricky Haddon was pulling down your gloves to put your fist in the improper position. Y'all tried the same method the second time, but this time you scratched flesh out of my ears, which caused my ears to bleed. It's impossible for a brand new 10 ounce glove to bend, to keep a smushed in form, or to have loose space. I highly believe you put something hard in your glove, something the size and the shape of an egg weight. Here's the reason why the side of my face swelled up in an egg weight form. And it left a dent in my face as well. <laughs> but in the midst of it all, you still couldn't keep this king down. You would have had to kill me. In the end, it took a crab in the bucket referee and a disloyal trainer to throw the towel in just to stop me. <laughs> Proverbs the sixth chapter 30, 31 says, excuses may be found from a thief who steals because he is starving. But if he is caught, he will have to pay back seven times what he stole, even if he had to sell everything in his house and payback is coming. Dante's Boxing Nation, what's going on, guys? So there it is, huh? There it is. For all of these fans that said, well, how come Deontay Wilder hasn't said anything about this? I'm not going to believe this until I hear it come from Deontay Wilder's mouth. You finally got exactly what you were asking for. Deontay Wilder broke his silence. And he exposed everything that we've been reporting on. This is bad news for Tyson Fury, guys. And this is only the beginning of Tyson Fury's problems. Trust me, much, much more is going to come out. But this is really bad news for old media. Because now that Deontay Wilder has come out and exposed this glove scandal... The media, the old media, they're going to be forced to report what Deontay Water says. This is the first thing that Deontay Water has said about Tyson Fury since he did that interview on PBC, which was a long, long time ago, very shortly after he lost to Tyson Fury. Remember, old media, they all started to report the talks of Deontay Wilder using his costume being too heavy as an excuse. They all ran with that. This is why they are now going to be forced to report what Deontay Wilder said about this glove scandal. And they never wanted to do that because they did not want to shine this light on Tyson Fury to even have people raising their eyebrows. They didn't want people to start looking deeper into this situation. Where there is smoke, there is fire. And I'm telling you, man, we are about to uncover a huge fire coming straight from Tyson Fury's camp. Not only is this bad news for Tyson Fury and old media, it's also bad news for the Nevada State Athletic Commission. Because a lot of this evidence has already been presented to them. And once again, because Tyson Fury, he had his hope insurance. They completely ignored this. They completely disregarded all of the obvious evidence. And in their own words, they said they see no irregularities. 
when it came to this fight. Those words are really going to cost them if they end up having to go to court over this situation, which they most likely will. I mean, fans, of course, you guys can still defend Tyson Fury. You can do whatever you want, say whatever you want in the comment section. But the burden that Tyson Fury is going to have is how do you explain those images, the video footage, the clips that Deontay Wilder just showed in this video? How is he going to explain that situation? The truth will always come to light, guys. The truth will always come to light. And one more thing about old media. I said now they're going to be forced to report what Deontay Wilder said. Even if they didn't report it, it makes them look worse because the racial bias would be way too blatant. So mark my words, guys. This is only the beginning. This is only the beginning of a huge story that's about to unravel. It wasn't too long ago that I told you guys Deontay Water, he was about to release a mountain of evidence. And this is only the beginning of that process. That's all I got for now, guys. I'm on to the next one. Fellas, I've got some great news for you. If you've lost your hair or have a receding hairline, the time has come when you can finally get your hairline back through a process called scalp micropigmentation. So here's how it works. It's a hair tattoo that replicates the look of your hair follicles when you have fully shaved it down. Basically, you will end up with a haircut shape up or an edge up. What they do is they tattoo small dots that look like hair follicles in the areas where you have lost your hair and then blend it with your existing hair. You can even choose what type of hairline you want, hard shape up or soft and natural finish. And to maintain it, all you gotta do is shave your hair every few days, which is something you already were probably doing anyway. So if you wanna get this hookup for my brothers out there in the UK and Europe, make sure you check out The Scalptist on Instagram. And for my brothers out there in the States, make sure you go ahead and contact my man Scalp Carolinas on Instagram. And when you go on their pages, you can see for yourself what these guys look like before. I mean, these guys are literally hair magicians. I've never seen anything like this before, but all I can tell you guys is this is a serious game changer for us men. So make sure you get in contact with Scalptus and Scalp Carolinas on Instagram. What's going on guys? You know, I've always wanted to find a second source of income. And I've always wanted to learn about stocks and trades because I've heard so much good stuff about it. So I finally found a way to do it. And now I'm learning from six, seven, eight figure traders. So not only am I learning from them, but the most important thing is I get to copy their trade. So I get to earn while I learn. Now, if you want the full details, click on the link below so you can learn while you copy and paste their trades. And just understand this guys, just by watching the video, you're doing a great job of supporting my channel and I appreciate it. And the craziest thing about doing this trading is you can do it anywhere. All you need is an internet connection and you can do it just with your phone. So if you want to learn how to make a second income alongside me without having to pitch, sell, or recruit, go ahead and click on the link below and I'll see you inside.